Let's say there's a sister. She wants to start doing hijab. Wants to start doing hijab. She's afraid. What will people say? So she starts doing it only when she comes to the masjid. She doesn't do it outside. She's not as comfortable and as confident yet. Yes, it's an order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, it's an order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for men to cover themselves properly. Publicly and privately. But sometimes men don't cover themselves pro properly as well. We wear these tiny shorts like this. And we think we're doing a good job. No, not doing a good job. So don't look at the sisters all the time. Look at the brothers and look at yourself sometimes too when we do something wrong. So let's say the sister in this example, she's trying to do a hijab. She's trying to do a better job. And she only wears it when she comes to the mud. She's trying to get comfortable wearing it in front of other people who wear it. And sadly, this might be the worst thing to do because our people are the ones who pass off the snarkiest comments. Oh, I see you're a part-time hijabi now. What happened? Something changed in your life? Are you trying to get married? This person is just trying to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trying to do a better job, possibly be able to wear it on campus. Now because of your snarky comments, now because of your arrogant comments, this person has been driven further away from doing hijab. This person has been driven further away from salah. This person has been driven further away from Islam unto itself.